Hi, I'm Dr. Scott. Let's learn about messenger RNA vaccines. Some people have gotten these types of shots at least once in their lives. They are used for diseases like COVID-19. Each of these diseases is caused by a virus, and a virus is a kind of germ that can make us sick. Within our bodies, each of us has an immune system that protects us from illnesses. The strength of our immune system is impacted by how we live our life and our environment. For example, by eating nutritious food, getting rest, and connecting with others, we can boost our immune system and stay healthy and strong. We all have antibodies or immune warrior cells that stand guard and attack diseases. When we get a vaccine, the ingredients in the shot tell our warrior cells how to recognize and fight the disease. Imagine, I am the immune system on a bright sunny day. Before getting a vaccine, I'm not able to see the virus. But after getting a vaccine, I'm able to see the virus. Now, how do mRNA vaccines work? Viruses are tiny, so let's build a model. A bigger version of what the virus looks like to understand how we can get sick. The body of a virus is like a shell, and let's pretend that this plastic ball is the shell of a virus. Some viruses have spikes that stick out of its shell. The virus uses these spikes to stick to your cells and fuse with them. Let's add these foam darts to the ball and pretend they're spikes. The last important part of the virus is the instructions. The instructions tell how to make more copies of itself once it's inside of your cells. Then it can spread throughout your body to make you sick. In our pretend virus, the white part of the shoelace is the instructions for building the shell and the pink part is for the spikes. The virus carries the instructions inside the shell, so let's tuck the shoelace in. Now that we've built a virus, let's see how we make a vaccine. Remember which part of the virus sticks to your body first? That's right, the spikes. Once your body can recognize the spike, it can fight back faster if you encounter the virus later. Vaccines teach your body to recognize spikes. They include only the instructions for the spike. When you get the shot, your body will use the instructions to learn what the virus looks like and build warrior cells who are then on the lookout for the virus spikes. After getting vaccinated against a particular disease, it is less likely that we will get sick with that disease and reduces the seriousness of illness if you get sick. It is also less likely that we will make others sick. Over time, diseases can change, and this can make it hard for your warrior cells to recognize them. Booster shots carry the latest instructions for fighting the most current version of a disease. These vaccines often require booster shots as a reminder to the immune system. Staying up to date on our vaccinations is one way that we can protect ourselves and others, including our most vulnerable elders and newborn babies. Let's work together to keep our community safe.